Alright, hey guys, it is September 17th. Popping in to show you what I did for dinner. Chicken fajitas. Yes, in the slow cooker. So, what I did this morning was... One, two, three, four, five large chicken breasts. Yeah, there were five large. Um... It might have been six. I think two of them were stuck together. Um, anywho. Um, a can of uh, tomato paste I put in the bottom. And then I layered it with the chicken breast. And uh, various spice seasonings. Um, some garlic. they kind of dark. And, um, <coughs> oh, okay. And, um, I chopped up an onion and some green peppers and added those in here. And so this has been cooking down. I started this about noon maybe a little bit before and it's about five now and it is it's done I just took my um, large spatula here and just broke up all of the chicken breast just a second and just basically broke it all up so it shredded very easy um, they were frozen so I would say I cooked it on high if they are frozen anywhere from five to six hours depending on how many you have in here um, and um, if not probably about four hours would work just fine but I'm going to get some, um, I have some black beans and some rice. So we will dress up our fajitas with some, the kids will have some cheese, some sour cream, some, um, I have pico. I don't want any cheese, but I'll do pico and sour cream. And possibly I may give them, uh, some avocado on the side. I don't do avocado, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy all that goodness. And yeah, not a terrible amount to clean up. Didn't make a huge mess, but it's very saucy down there. So very flavorful. But uh, yeah. And this is actually. Uh, a basis to many things you can do a chicken lasagna like this you can do tacos you can do taquitos um, just so many so many uh, meals and it's good to just put some and freeze it so you have some uh, put away for next time but um, not freezer cooking at the moment the freezer still full so, anywho, see you guys tomorrow.